Today we're going to be taking a look at the TireMinder RV Tire Pressure Monitoring System for smartphones. The 4 transmitter kit is part number TPMS-APP-4 and the 6 transmitter kit is part number TPMS-APP-6. This tire pressure monitoring system is compatible with both Android and iPhone devices. It's going to monitor tire pressure and temperature on up to 22 different tires. This tire pressure monitoring system is great for vehicles that don't have factory tire pressure monitoring, tow behind trailers so you can monitor their tire pressure, campers and RVs, even those with a dual tire setup. It's also great for monitoring the tire pressure in your tow behind vehicle while driving your RV. So you can see on our Bluetooth receiver that it's indicating we have a low tire. It will also indicate on your device when you have a tire that is low. These ones do not indicate low, but this one does. Now that is because we just programmed it and haven't set the baseline pressure. At the bottom of your app, select baseline, and now you can set the appropriate tire pressures that you need for your vehicle. And we're gonna set this one, change it from the default of 116 to 75. And now our tire warning is no longer present. And if we go back to the home, we're reading the appropriate pressures with no warnings. The kit will come with either four or six sensors that will be brass. You can purchase additional sensors at eTrailer.com using part number TM-2BRASS for brass sensors in a quantity of two, and part number TM-2ALUM for aluminum sensors, which comes in a quantity of two. You can see here the difference between the brass and the aluminum sensors. You'll want to use aluminum if you have aluminum valve stems, such as vehicles with factory tire pressure monitoring systems, or brass on brass valve stems, or other types that are not aluminum. The reason you would want to use aluminum on aluminum is to prevent a corrosion. Brass on aluminum will cause premature corrosion and may damage your tire pressure sensors. It also monitors temperature for an overheat condition, which could be caused by sticking brake calipers, brake pads, or seized wheel bearings. The app has several other useful features, such as the auto search. This can be used if a sensor is not reporting a tire pressure. It will cause the sensors to reset and retransmit their signal. This will allow you to determine if a sensor just did not send its signal at that time, or if there's a fault with that sensor if it does still not send its signal. It also has an auto scroll feature, which will cycle through the tires at set intervals. It also includes a disconnect mode. So if you have sensors connected to both your vehicle, motor home, RV, and also a trailer or vehicle that you're pulling behind your RV, and you disconnect one and you only want to drive just your vehicle or just your motor home, you simply disconnect it. And now you only will show the sensors here so that the other sensors that will stay behind will not indicate that they're operating incorrectly. Now I'll unscrew one tire pressure sensor so you can see the warning on the screen as if you had a blowout. Batteries are included for your sensors. You'll receive extra, so you have two per sensor. Only one is needed. Also included is a micro USB charger for your Bluetooth receiver. Simply plug it in at the bottom. You'll get the indicator both on your device, your phone, and your Bluetooth receiver indicating that it's charging. A monitor bracket is also available at eTrailer.com with part number M1-B. You can use this to mount the Bluetooth receiver or your smartphone. You can mount this to your windshield, dashboard, or any other location that it'll stick to. Now that we've gone over some of the features, I'll show you how to get it set up. The first thing you're gonna need to do is download the app. You can scan the QR codes on the first page of the instruction manual, or you could go to the app store on your smartphone and download the appropriate app for your iPhone or Android device. Just search TireMinder. Here we have the app opened up, and you can see we already have some of our sensors programmed. We're gonna go ahead and show you how to program the last sensor, which is our right front tire. The first thing we need to do to program a sensor is to turn on the included Bluetooth connection device using the button on the top. Once that's turned on, simply open up the app and it will connect. You can tell it's connected when the blue Bluetooth icon is flashing. So we're now connected. So we can now go learn the sensor. Select the Learn tab on your phone. While the Learn square is up, 
you'll need to screw the sensor into the tire. That way it will learn the appropriate position on your vehicle. Let's go ahead and do that now. Before we thread on our sensor, we'll thread on the lock nut. This will hold your sensor in place to keep it from rattling loose and falling off. Make sure to thread it down far enough so you can get your sensor all the way on. Thread your sensor on. It will beep and show you the pressure when it's on. There's an included tool to lock down your lock nut. So go ahead and use your finger to thread the lock nut up to the sensor. Put your tool into place and then just snug it up and that'll keep your sensor secure. For larger RVs and long trailers, a signal booster is also included, which will maximize the range that your sensors can transmit their signals. The signal booster is easy to install using the attached wiring and alligator clips. It simply needs to be connected to a constant power source, such as the batteries here in our RV. You get about six feet of wiring, which can be used to mount it in the most appropriate hidden location. The best locations are at the rear of the vehicle and on the undercarriage. And that completes our look at the TireMinder RV tire pressure monitoring system for smartphones. Thanks for watching. Click the link in our description below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com. And leave us a comment if you have any questions.